for dinner tonight. Baby fried some catfish that we had in the freezer. It's fresh, but we froze it. And I made a baked sweet potato for myself with some brown sugar and butter. And he had a regular baked potato and we had some fresh corn on the cob that I made in the microwave. It is the best way to make corn on the cob. Please try it. Put it in the microwave for about three minutes per corn on a cob that you're making with the silks and everything still on and carefully peel it off with some oven mitts because it is really hot and it cooks perfect every single time. This is what is for dinner tonight. You can barely see the shrimp because I got so much veggie on it, but that is on purpose. So I cooked some shrimp in the skillet, just sauteed it on the oven. That's a little bit of a better view. And I used my tropical, Badia tropical, and some cayenne pepper and some smoked paprika. Y'all, please do that to your shrimp. I don't care if you eat it on a taco or taco salad, nachos, on the side of steak, whatever. Just do that combination of seasonings, please. And I topped it with, oh yeah, and I fried these. These are soft tortillas that I fried. A little soft taco, a little crunchy, kind of like a little chalupa almost. So I can't wait to smash. But it's tomatoes, avocado, diced jalapeno, some purple onion, and green onion, and sour cream. And that's it. And I'm about to kill it. I'm probably gonna put some tapatio on there, but I'm gonna take a bite first and see. Because the shrimp was pretty spicy and then the jalapenos are of course spicy. So I'm gonna take a bite and then I'll probably add, please stop. So I'll take a bite and then I'll probably add tapatio. These are the ingredients that I'll be using for my chili. Uh, basic ingredients, I will add a little bit more seasoning um, I will season my ground chicken as it's cooking separately. So for that, I'm probably just going to use my jam, my Badia Sazon Tropical, to flavor the chicken while I cook that. And then when I mix it all together, I might add a tiny bit more of this. We'll just have to see how it goes. But um, depending on how much more spice I may or may not need, I'll add more chili powder or cayenne pepper. This is a new thing for me brown sugar y'all i'm discovering so many things that you can make with brown sugar chili i started putting it in my spaghetti it cuts out on the amount of the white grain sugar that you might have to use um when you want to kind of balance the acidity of anything that's tomato based and it makes a huge difference in flavor sorry about that they're doing or they're acting like they're cutting the grass but it always looks the exact same Brown sugar helps with the acidity in any type of tomato based uh, sauce, pasta, meal that you might be doing. So that's the secret. And you don't need a lot, just a little bit. It's brown sugar. And that's what's going to be for dinner tonight. I'm going to wait on this to thaw out because it is thawing out. Once it's thawed, I'm going to go ahead and brown it. And I'm going to probably put it in a crock pot so it can just slow cook the rest of the day. And people can just eat when they're ready to eat. And we don't have to all technically sit down at once. Um, and we are going to make a trip to go get some lottery tickets. So it'll be ready and we won't have to be in a rush to get back to the house if we don't want to be because it's in the crock pot. So that's what's for dinner tonight. It is chilly. So I forgot that I needed to, well I didn't need to, I decided to go ahead and add some yellow and green bell pepper to my ground chicken before I put it in the crock pot with everything else. And I honestly can't remember if I went over everything else. I'm pretty sure I did. My, I got my chili beans. Um, I have my basil, garlic, and oregano diced tomatoes. And this is the Happy Harvest's Aldi brand. And then I have the, these are diced Aldi brand green chili. So basically, Rotel. And then I have one chili seasoning packet. And those are my topping, my toppings. <laughs> those are my ingredients for the chili with the brown sugar. I don't think I actually said what ingredients I was gonna put in there, and I added this. What is up, I am back. I just wanted to show you what it's looking like in my crock pot so far. I'm glad I cooked all the meat that I cooked because I went ahead and cooked a whole pack of ground chicken, but it's a Sam's pack, so it was like a little over two pounds of meat. Usually, I don't put that much meat in my chili, but now I'm looking at this, and I'm glad I did it. 
So this is what I have so far. This is just cuteness, y'all. This is just for cuteness because <laughs> I still have to add uh, at least one to two cans of tomatoes, diced tomatoes. But we have, I went ahead and added some yellow onion, some Vidalia onion, and I added some purple onion. I've already showed a little clip of me deciding to also add the yellow bell pepper and the green bell pepper. So this is one can that Rotel, that's the can of Rotel, and this is two cans of the chili beans. That's my fridge. Close that. And this is two cans of the chili beans and over two pounds, like I said, a little bit over two pounds of ground chicken. And I just seasoned that up with the Badia, uh, what is it, Badia Sazon Tropical Seasoning. And Tropical Seasoning, I hate the way I sound when I say that on camera. I haven't put my chili packet in yet. I haven't put my can of tomatoes, diced tomatoes in yet. And I haven't put my brown sugar in yet. But I just wanted to show you this cuteness. So let me finish because uh, my man might be here soon. And hopefully he's ready so to go. This is dinner tonight. I made that chili that I showed me putting in the crock pot or mixing in the crock pot and everything. This is after probably about, let's see, it's 8.06. It's probably like four hours later. What is up party people? I have a quick Walmart haul. I just left Walmart and everything that I got, I actually don't have right here. Some of the stuff I had to drop off already, but let's hurry up because I need to get that stuff in the freezer. We're gonna start with that stuff. <laughs> so we got some of the great value Neapolitan ice cream sandwiches. These are bomb.diggity.com y'all. I can't explain enough how good these are. I think they have one that has banana too. That one's even better. So Jackson actually picked those out. Jackson also chose to get some of these French toast cinnamon sticks. Those are great value brand. This used to be his jam. He'll jam out on something for a long period of time and then he'll get tired of it. So we're just bringing them back. I got some more chocolate syrup, great value. We got some of these Johnsonville New Orleans sausages. We love these in the air fryer, in the oven on the grill however whenever they're the bomb and they're only like two they're less than three dollars a pack so very affordable to me we got some shredded cheese because we're down to the last drop we got colby monterey jack cheese finely shredded and then we got some low moisture part skin mozzarella both great value we got two packs of these famous seasoned fries the rally slash checkers fries jackson has been going in on these and he makes me want to go in because they are perfect for the air air fryer you need to cook them on 370 for about five to seven minutes depending on how crispy you want them they're done at five but they're not too too crispy well they're not crispy as we like them seven minutes is more like it shake them up in between like maybe two or three times to make sure they're all around crispy but this is the bomb. We need to try to find this at Sam's. These were almost $4 a pack and we got two. We got some green onions because I have none. Big girl, I use all of them. I'm so proud of myself. Those usually go to waste or not go to waste. Well, they are going to waste, but they usually go bad on me fast. That's why I'm proud of myself. So we got some green onions. This is gonna make sense. It looks like I'm just randomly shopping, but I'm really not, okay? There's a method to my madness. Just wait on it. This is my sister's fault. There is no method to this. These were cute. She told me that the certain Walmart she was at had really cute stuff for Jackson. And they do have really cute and different compared to the Walmart I've been going to lately. So I got him a little tank so his muscles can be out. The theme for the summer appears to be neon and sharks. So this is perfect. He has a lot of... That air fryer, y'all. I'm sorry. He has a lot of neon stuff, blue stuff. All this is perfect. So I thought that was cute. Jaw some waves. <laughs> And then this was just a cute graphic tee with a little texture on it. It says, keep it fresh. Rash guard at this particular Walmart, if you're in my area, the one on Sparkman. If you're looking for rash guards for your son, that's the place to go because University doesn't have them. I haven't seen them in Madison either. He got this rash guard to go with his shark swimsuit bottoms. Not my favorite, but it's his thing, you know. Cadence got these two pairs of sandals. I got Cadence two pair and Nadia two pair. Um, Nadia already has hers, but she got gray and white. Those are the colors that she wanted that they had in her. I did not look at this good enough. Okay, it just peels off. Okay, I can just peel it off. Good. 
that's what they had in Nadia's size and the colors that she actually liked. I wanted to get them each black because I just know black goes with everything. But this goes with all Cadence and Summer stuff too. So she got hot pink and then this little aquamarine blue, I guess. And Nadia, like I said, got white and like a light gray. This Shout Advanced Gel Stick, y'all. Get into this. I should have did a before and after on his shirt. I think yesterday I washed it, but I was in cleaning mode and I just was not thinking about recording. He had a white, a mostly white shirt with a red spot this big, some type of juice. He had a red spot up here about this big and another one over here about that big. And it sat in that shirt for probably like four or five days too before I even pre-treated it. Bad of me. I know, but it just kept slipping my mind. I pulled it from the regular laundry so I didn't accidentally wash it. I forgot to pre-treat it. Anyways, this is amazing. Now, I this gets stains out. I've used it before. I'm very experienced with it. It really does make a huge difference, especially if you go ahead and treat it, whatever your stain is. But in his shirt, because I was so scared that, you know, it wasn't gonna come out the first time, I did put it in bleach. I use it in my bleach laundry. But I'm almost positive, even without the bleach, it would have came out with this. Either way, the stain came completely out. And the shirt looks almost brand new with the bleach in this. So if you got something white, put bleach with it. If it's not bleachable, just do this. Let it sit. I mean, scrub for your life, honey. But let it sit and put it in the washer. And I guarantee you, nine times out of ten, it's going to come out. This is a pack of the Great Value ultimate fresh dryer sheets this is a dupe for gain dryer sheets i used to use fabric softener but i don't it tends to stain my clothes whether i use the ball or not because i know everybody's gonna be like you're not doing it right but i've done it and i don't like it it tends to leave this weird especially on white things after you bleach them it has these weird spots that it leaves on your white stuff that weren't even there before you washed it so anyway i just use dryer sheets in my older band in all my laundry. This baby got me yesterday. I just got it out of the car, but it did come from Walmart. I had the zip up waist trimmer, the, it's not Planet Fitness, Gold's Gym or something like that. That blue one that a lot of people probably see at Walmart. I had that one, but the zipper broke and it broke before I even put it on. So, wasn't my fault. I'm pretty sure Corey broke it and put it back in my dresser and didn't tell me he broke it. This is a Velcro one. I'm just going to use this on top of a sweat vest that I already have. That's why I prefer the Velcro at this point. It's just easier to get on and make tight, to be honest. And then I got these pack of wipes, and that is just, you'll see. Here's choice. I went ahead and got the fresh scent, you know, plant-based, 99% water, so it shouldn't make anyone react. And that's all I got from Walmart that you see. I also got, I'll show a picture of these Bomb Pops. They're watermelon. <laughs> They're cute for summer, but they go with a theme for my niece's birthday party next week. So it's going to be so cute. It's one in a melon. And if you're a Pinterest girl, you've probably already seen it. It's super cute, but we're taking it to the next level with everything else we do, okay? But y'all are going to see it. Hopefully, I have time to vlog her party a little bit. But y'all going to see it, at least the setup of it, before the party gets started. But I got to hurry and put this stuff away.